Kim's wristwatch always shows the correct time, including AM and PM. Jim's watch is identical to Kim's watch in all aspects, all aspects except its pace, which is slower than the pace of Kim's watch. At 12 noon on January 1st, Jim sets his watch to the correct time, but an hour later it shows 12.57 pm. Oh, nice. In one hour it loses three minutes. It's not slightly off the pace, it's off the pace by a gigantic number. If you followed this watch in a day, you'd be in heaps of trouble. At 12 noon on the, on the next June 1st, Jim resets his watch to the correct time. So he fixes it after five months. And in this five months, he must be having an absolute nightmare because his clock is not, his watch is not slightly off. It's off by, by, a, by, a, by a giant, gigantic margin. And he's going, he's basically saying, I don't want to, I'm not using my watch. It's that bad. Fine, so on how many instances between and including 12 noon on the two dates mentioned, do Jim's and Kim's watches show the exact time, including the AM and PM? So, very nice. In one hour, it loses three minutes. It keeps on losing three minutes every hour. It has to lose 12 hours for at a time to be exactly same, but even then the AM PM won't match. It has to lose 24 hours for it to match back again. It has to lose 24 hours for it to come back to the exact same time. In one hour it loses three minutes. So in in 20 hours, it lose six minutes, sorry, 60 minutes, or it lose one hour. It has to lose 24 hours, which will take it 20 hours into 24 hours time. Or in 480 hours, it loses one day. 480 hours is 480 by 24. In 20 days, it loses one day. So when, when Kim's watch has done 20 days, Jim's watch has done 19 days and is therefore it is lovely in the times match and it is exactly the same time including the AM PM angle. Right? So now, it's, now it's done. So on Chan 1, it worked. On Chan 21 will be spot on. Right? After this, is it's not Feb 11, it should be Feb 10. Feb 20, Feb 30, there's no Feb 30, it's March 2. We don't know whether it's March 2 or March 1, not worried. Because it, I think the date will be convenient, it will not be hinging on that margin. March, I'm not worried too much, I mean even do some of the numbers wrong. Unless it is very close to June 1st, I'm not going to worry. March 21st, second, uh, April 2nd, April 12th, April 11th, April 21st, May 30th, April 31st is May 1st. May 21, just as we thought. The next one is way beyond June 1. That simply doesn't matter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times, including Chan 1. I did this far, and then I was super peeved that the choice 8 wasn't there. The, the, the buggers, rather, very, in a very sly fashion, they've included this beautiful thing. In between, and including 12 noon on the two dates mentioned. I read this again and then I said, anyway on June 1 it won't match. No, no, on June 1 it will match because Jim resets his damn match to the correct time. So June 1 will get counted. So it has nine occasions where they'll match. Eight occasions naturally, including the first one. Ninth one because he's unwinding again and, and fixing it. Rewinding again and fixing it. Lovely. Answer is nine. Thank you.